Okay guys, good morning. We are here in the kitchen as a family, all of us trying to get going. We are starving, starving. Aaron just finished a workout. We are cutting into a watermelon and we're gonna take you through a, what, I, what we eat in a day as a family. This is what we eat in a day. Kid friendly, family friendly edition because it's been a while since we've done one of these. Sharing things that maybe we don't share in other videos that we just kind of do without thinking on autopilot that might actually be helpful and useful to you guys. Like what supplements do we give our kids? What are we taking now? Maybe little skincare things that I'm doing differently. So just tying up loose ends and hopefully you guys will find it interesting. So we'll link everything below that we mention as well. I was about to make a smoothie but then I remembered we have this Florida watermelon had to cut it open and start chomping on it because I am so tired from my workout. So the number one question I get is, where can I find the recipe to that? Can you guys share more of your recipes? Or I need a meal plan. And we have it all in one place for you guys. You have to get our brand new Eat, Move, Rest recipe and meal planner app. It is available for both Apple and Android. It has so many different features and functions from detailed nutrition facts to customized Amazon Fresh grocery shopping list. And we're adding new recipes every single month. So if you see something you like on my Instagram, reels guaranteed it's going to be popped into our meal planner app we've had so much great feedback from you guys losing weight making gains in the gym learning how to feed a big family or if you are new to plant-based and you're trying to get started it's great for anyone and everyone also something I almost never talk about is our ebook bundle on our website and for this holiday weekend for Memorial Day we are doing an over 50% off sale on the bundle instead of $39.99 we are offering it for $14.99 for this weekend only only. Definitely grab it while you can. It has all of our most favorite loved recipes of all time. We have our main ebook with over 75 plus family friendly recipes. And then we also have the five day raw reset and the three day juice feast. So this is definitely something I don't talk about very often. Um, supplements that we give to our kids and the ones we honestly focus on most for ourselves as well. Number one, probiotics. I use seed probiotic as does Dusty. The kids, I use this liquid one that I get on Amazon. Everything is linked below. You can check out our Amazon storefront to find all of these Amazon goodies. So probiotic, and then we focus on B12, D3, and omega-3. So I get an algae omega from Amazon, and a liquid B12 from Amazon, and a liquid D3 plus K2 from Amazon. So these are what we give the kiddos. But for ourselves, in last week's video, again, I mentioned Complement. It has the eight essential nutrients that vegans might want to focus on a little bit more. So it's all in one place. This just works better for the kids because we can dose it out more for a small body. But for us, Complement works out really well. It's super slick. It's an amazing company. We love it. So I am back on the Moon Balance. This is a Your Super Blend that I love because it's great for hormonal balance, libido, cycles. Even if you are going through menopause, it's just got the most amazing ingredients for anything female hormone and cycles related. And I usually start taking it about like when the kids are about two years, so when I'm about two years postpartum and I'm just trying to get back in sync. So yeah, I love it. It's simple. I just add it to a splash of water and mix it and chug it down. So yes, Erin's taking her moon balance and I'm taking creatine, typical guy move, but I've been using this for a few months and I definitely feel the difference. Like I'm stronger, I'm fitter, I can think better. Like people say that there's actual cognitive benefits from creatine. Guys, almost all my vegan friends are all taking creatine. So I usually start my morning with this too. And I also like to start with a little electrolyte mineral blend from Sun Warrior, seriously love this stuff, and the Silver Strength. So these are like our fulvic mineral blends. You guys have probably heard us talk about that before. Highly, highly recommend, especially if you are active, if you're sweating, you need to be replacing minerals. They also help deliver nutrients in the body. Super, super good stuff, recommend, especially like I said, if you're sweating a lot, if it's summertime, love to replace the minerals. So this morning's green smoothie recipe is what I like to call my black magic green smoothie because it's literally like black thanks to the super dark green spirulina mixed with wild blueberries and then all the other regular stuff I put in. I put in dulse Brazil nuts for that iodine and selenium. I put in chia and flax for omega-3s. I put in some Samoria protein, green apple, 
whole bunch of different greens. Collards and kale are my favorites. I always drop in some celery, a couple little slices of ginger and turmeric root. I just keep these in the fridge in the, my little stasher bag <clears throat> to cut off small slices for our smoothies. And then it's just the frozen stuff, frozen bananas, and sometimes I do banana, mango, pineapple for like a really green tropical blend, or sometimes I like to do the banana with wild blueberry, sometimes adding in some frozen cherries. So those are my two favorites. So mornings and breakfast time is clearly always our favorite time to share with you guys, but for the sake of not making this a super long video, we're gonna cut to a really good breakfast, lunch, and dinner that you may not have seen here before. So for breakfast, we're gonna be making our new favorite go-to. These are no flip protein pancakes that we make in the oven. Same with lunch, we're gonna be making a super good pizza pasta sauce to go on our pasta. We're making sure to cover all of our macronutrient bases, healthy carbs, fats, and proteins, but also placing an emphasis on iron, especially for the kiddos' sake. And then for dinner, we're gonna be making a super good Asian stir fry. Dusty made this bomb fried rice recipe the other night, oil-free, not actually fried, and it was to live for. So cloth diapering, something I did with Liv, not with Max, and I regret it. I wish I would have started with Max. It's such a game changer as far as saving money. I really love these diapers. I'm gonna share more in a follow-up video. General facial massage. So I'm just getting freshened up before we make our oven pancakes, and something I really don't talk about often enough is herbal face food. So this is literally the cleanest and the most potent multi-correction anti-aging serum I have ever come across. It's so wonderful in so many ways. So they have the serum and then the cure. So the serum is like for your full face and the cure is for spot treating. It's so clean you could actually eat it. Like the founder has actually eaten this and it's it's just so clean and so amazing. There's no fragrance added, there's no fillers, there's no chemicals. It's just natural plant compounds that are the most effective for everything from fine lines and wrinkles and sunspots and freckles to acne. And it even has a natural built-in SPF of about 40 to 50. What they always say to do is feed your face first so basically that just means apply this before the rest of your skincare and or makeup routine. So you guys can see I'm still using a bunch of my Osea and this is what I've been doing for over a year now. So I feed my face first with herbal face food. It gives it this warm, tingling sensation that I just love. It makes me really know that it's working. Being a 30 something mama bear, it's definitely a game changer for me. So. If there's one product I don't talk about enough, it's herbal face food, but it definitely deserves its spotlight because I've been obsessed with it. Dusty even is onto it now. So go check it out. You guys can use my discount. Okay, so for our no flip pancakes, they are gonna be protein packed. We're gonna put them in the oven instead of using a pan with oil. Keep in mind, this is for three servings. This makes about 15 oven pancakes. This is in our meal planner. You can check it out there. You can portion it out to make a third of this amount if you want to. First thing I start with is three ripe speckled bananas and then three cups of rolled oats. Then I use three tablespoons of chia and or flax. I usually like to use a combination. Three teaspoons of baking powder, cup and a half of organic soy milk. We love this brand because it's just soybeans and water and it's organic about two to three tablespoons of maple syrup. If you want these to be extra protein packed, you can add one to two scoops. I'm gonna do a scoop and a half of Sun Warrior Vanilla Warrior Blend for added flavor and protein and iron. I used to get really fancy with it and do like a bowl for wet ingredients and a bowl for dry ingredients. What I do now is I just throw every single ingredient in the Vitamix, blend it, and it is so quick and simple. If you don't have a Vitamix, you can always just blend the oats into flour or use oat flour, and you'll also wanna blend your chia and flax seeds. Other than that, you just smash the bananas with a fork and then mix everything by hand. Since we're talking about our product favorites, we don't really mention Vitamix very often, but we've had this particular blender model for three or four years, and it's definitely the best ever. 
you will never find anything that's as powerful and long lasting as a Vitamix. It will last you a lifetime. So definitely worth the investment. We have it linked below. Now I'm just using my quarter cup measuring cup and spooning these out. No oil, no stick, no flip. They're almost like fluffy cookies. Speaking of cookies, you could put dark chocolate chips in these if you wanted to get fancy. Or blueberries, blueberries are good too. Then I preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I pop it in the oven for just about 12, 13 minutes and then you're good to go. Oh, you made us dinner? Yeah. So wonderful. Strawberry. A strawberry stew? Thank you. Oven pancakes are done. I usually then take them and put them on a towel. And then once they're really, really cool, then I'll store them in one of our stasher bags, whatever we don't eat for breakfast. Max, what is your favorite color? Um, blue and red. And what's your favorite food? Uh, oats. Oats? Yeah, with cashew butter on top. With cashew butter on top? Yeah. And what's your favorite sport? Baseball. You want to pick one for Biv too? That's a good one. Hey Dad, what's your favorite movie? Um, Sandlot. Sandlot. Sandlot? You like Sandlot? So this is Mac butter. It's actually macadamia, cashew, and coconut. Such a good combo. The coconut makes it a little sweet. And it's also a great, great source of iron. So the kids just eat this up. Usually my plate's not as pretty because I'm like eating scraps that the kids left behind. Mm. Now moving on to lunch, another effortless quick fix. So it's gonna be another Vitamix blender recipe. We soaked one cup of cashews in water for at least 30 minutes, but up to four hours is best. If you have a nut allergy, check out sunflower seeds. Try soaking raw sunflower seeds instead. So we're gonna drain and rinse those, put them in the blender. Salt and pepper is to taste. We're gonna use two to three teaspoons of Italian seasoning. And I use garlic and onion powder just to taste. And then one can of diced tomatoes. And then I'm also gonna steam some broccoli to add in at the end. And we're gonna blend in some red bell pepper. This is gonna help with the pretty color and vitamin C to aid in iron absorption. Our pastas of choice are gluten-free elbows. These are brown rice pasta, just two ingredients, brown rice and water. And also, these are my personal pick, especially for kids, the chickpea, chickpea pasta. It's chickpea, yellow lentil, and red lentil, that's it. The reason I love these is they're ridiculously high in protein and iron, and they're so, so good. So we're gonna do a blend of both. One more ingredient to add to the flavor and nutritional value, this is nutritional yeast. We get unfortified, you can find it on, an, on our Amazon store. It's super high in protein, iron, and B vitamins. I'm just gonna add three tablespoons. It's a little bell pepper heart. <laughs> this is a massive bell pepper, so I'm just gonna do half of it. Salt and pepper to taste. So I'm also gonna save half the sauce. Once you put it in the refrigerator, it does thicken up quite a bit, so then it would make a great little veggie dip. But if you want it to be liquidy like this, you could honestly also use this as a salad dressing. Don't go overboard, you don't have to use a lot. But I've used it as a salad dressing and like massaged curly kale or dino kale in it, and it is so good. So it's very versatile. We're gonna mix our broccoli in, cut up some cherry tomatoes, and eat up. You can always add whatever veggies you'd like. These I find are just the best with pasta. So we just steamed the broccoli and I added in some tomatoes while the pasta is still hot. So they'll kinda get nice and soft and warm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I am like a pasta fiend and this tastes just like pizza. It's so good. Aaron really nailed it with this one. Big one. I'm tired. 
It is time for one of nature's fruit snacks. So we're doing berries, kiwis, We've got some ripe pineapple and some cuties, and we'll probably just do a little bit of everything. Max, you want another bite of kiwi skin? Kids love kiwi skins. Don't throw them out. All right, you guys, dinner time is my specialty, and I made this veggie fried rice for the first time a couple weeks ago, and it was knock your socks off good. So here we are tonight replicating that recipe for you guys because it is both easy and delicious, the best two things. So for this recipe, I'm gonna cook up about two and a half cups of rice. We like to make enough to have leftovers the next night, so we're making a lot of rice. I'm gonna put carrots, cabbage, radish, peas, onion, garlic, bell pepper, mushrooms. This is a veggie loaded medley and the tofu squares in the oven. So typically heat the oven to 350 for the tofu squares. Obviously cut them into little squares and then we put this sweet coconut aminos on each little square, put them in the oven and wait for them to get crispy. I'm gonna start cooking my rice and then I'm gonna start sauteing all of my veggies together with salt, pepper, and nama shoyu or your choice of soy sauce. And for spices, I use a little bit of turmeric, onion powder, like quite a bit of onion powder. It gives this whole medley a really sweet flavor and aroma. Then I'm gonna use some garlic powder and some ginger powder. Now you can use fresh ginger too. And like I mentioned, we're gonna use a healthy amount of soy sauce or this nama shoyu. Now I'm gonna show you how to make this recipe. And I'm gonna saute in just a little bit of water, always kind of adding a little bit more. To make sure my spices and my veggies don't get dried out. If you guys want this recipe laid out, like we said before, definitely go download our meal planner app. This is helping so many people and you can find all the best recipes there. All right, you guys, we are having our lazy man's salad tonight. Basically just chopped veggies and romaine leaves dipped in hummus and guac making sure we get our greens in. Hope you guys enjoyed these recipes. Be sure to download the meal planner and recipe app to get the full written recipes with nutrition breakdowns. And make sure you take advantage of our Eat, Move, Rest ebook bundle sale. Again, it's over 50% off. It's normally $39.99, and for this weekend only, it is $14.99. Make sure you also check out the links below to all of our favorite products, supplements, so on and so forth. Everything's linked below with discount codes. That's all we got. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. Bye. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 